So let's say you're about to run out of yarn in your current yarn ball, but you still have a bunch of stitches to make. You need to add another yarn ball, and I'll show you how to do that without tying a knot in your yarn. So here I have a blue piece of yarn. That's my current yarn ball, and I'm gonna demo with an orange piece of yarn to represent the new yarn ball to make it easier for you to see. So let's say my pattern next says that I want to do a single crochet stitch. I'm gonna stick my hook into the next stitch like normal so it looks like I've got three strands of yarn on the hook. Yarn over and pull that yarn back through the hole I just put the hook into. So now I have two loops of yarn on the hook. Now I'm gonna drop my old yarn and pick up my new yarn. And I'm gonna drape it over my hook so that I've got about at least a four inch tail, the cutoff side of the yarn. And I want this yarn tail to be on top of the hook so it should be closer to me than the yarn connected to the rest of the yarn ball. And I'm also pinching it here right by my hook so that there's enough tension for me to be able to pull that yarn through both loops on the hook. And when I did that, the old loops of yarn got super loose, so I'm just gonna pull on the working yarn of the old yarn color of the old yarn until it's tighter again. And now I'm going to hold on to the working yarn of the new ball of yarn. And I'm going to make sure, by the way, at this point, that the right side of my piece is facing out, the side that does not have any horizontal Vs, because I want to hide the yarn tails of my new and old yarn ball on the inside of my piece. So I'm going to stick my hook and do another single crochet stitch. I'm just following the pattern. Let's say it tells me to do a bunch of single crochet stitches. So I'm gonna stick my hook under the next horizontal V. So I've got three strands of yarn on my hook two in the old yarn ball and one in the new. But I'm also gonna put my hook under both the yarn tails of the old and the new balls. So it should actually look like I've got five strands of yarn on the hook. Now I'm gonna yarn over and bring that yarn through everything but the last loop on my hook. So I have two loops up on my hook in this new yarn ball. Now I'm gonna yarn over again and bring it through both loops on the hook. Great. And I'm going to keep on crocheting over the yarn tails of both yarn balls for at least 10 or so stitches to make sure that I have secured these yarn balls. So I'll demo one more time. Stick your hook under the next horizontal V. So it looks like you have three strands of yarn on the hook. But then also put the two yarn tails on top of the hook and make sure that the tails are behind the crocheted piece so it's hidden on the inside of your piece. So now it looks like you've got five strands of yarn on the hook. Yarn over and bring that yarn through everything but the last loop on the hook so you have two loops on your hook. Yarn over again and bring that yarn through both loops on the hook. Now you have one loop left on the hook and you have crocheted twice over these yarn tails. And whenever you're done crocheting over the yarn tails, you can just stop crocheting over them and just leave them to be on the inside of your piece. And no one will ever know.